Wow, that looked like it really hurt. Whoa, now hang on. That looked like it hurt a lot more. So, let's try and clear this up, okay, Pumpkin? What hurts more? A or B? Forehand or backhand? A little louder, Lamb Chop. I think you may have a collapsed lung. That always impedes the oratory. Now that was rude. The first boy blunder had some manners. I suppose I'm going to have to teach you a lesson so you can better follow in his footsteps. Nah, I'm just gonna keep beating you with this crowbar. <laughs> Okay, kiddo, I gotta go. It's been fun, though, right? Well, maybe a smidge more fun for me than you. I'm just guessing, since you're being awful quiet. Anyway, be a good boy, finish your homework, and be in bed by nine. And hey! Please tell the big man I said... Hello. <laughs> You look good. Been working out? You could probably use a little sun. Then again, who am I to talk? <laughs> He's calling himself the Red Hood. What do you know about it? That he has horrible taste. When I wore that number, it was classy. More flashy Mater D than motorcycle fetish. Oh, these kids today. If you're behind this in any way, we will find out. You're not- Oh, bird boy, you're so much less fun now. All grown up and in your big boy pants. Still, better off than his replacement, right? Even tougher making with the yucks when you're worm food, huh? You're gonna do it this time? Or are you just gonna put me in another body cast for six months? So disappointing. But, back to the matter at hand. This new hoodie. You really think I would stir up so much trouble and not make sure you knew it was me? you understand the trouble I've gone through to arrange this little get-together here. A lot of money, a lot of dead meat. Look, uh, I've got a problem, and you are absolutely the man who possesses the gifts to take care of this problem. I need you to murder the Red Hood. You think you can handle that? <coughs> May I have some water? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to need something to wear in a very big truck. Sure. Anything else? I'll need some guys. Not these guys, because, well, they're kind of dead. <laughs> I don't know what cloud your judgment worse. Your guilt or your antiquated sense of morality. Bruce, I forgive you for not saving me. But why? Why on God's earth? <laughs> Is he still alive? <laughs> Gotta give the boy points. He came all the way back from the dead to make this shindig happen. So, who's got a camera? Ooh, ooh, get one of me and the kid first. Then you and me, then the three of us, and then one with the crowbar. Then... Ah! You be as quiet as possible, or I'll put one in your lap first. Party pooper. No cake for you. <laughs> <laughs> 